Hi guys, this is uh, Abs from the W39 mod. Um, I'm creating a series of video tutorials to help show you how I model and uh, I'm doing this with the hopes that it will encourage other people to actually start modeling for Arma 2 and in the future Arma 3 as well. So the scope of this video tutorial is to go from blueprint to model and then uh, potentially as well, depending on whether or not I have time, getting it from the model stage into the game. So let's get started with the blueprints. I found a nice set of blueprints for the SDKFZ 231 here on in known as the 231, um, which Topaz has asked me to model for the mod. So let's get started. So as you can see, there are four different views here and uh, <coughs> we need each one of these views for the blueprint box inside of 3D Studio Max that we'll be using in order to actually make it a 3D model. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll actually analyze the blueprints and see if they're appropriate. And by appropriate, I mean are they straight, are they not, etc., etc. So when you click on the ruler and drag down, you get this blue little slide where you can see whether or not the model, uh, the blueprint is straight. And as we can see, there's a bit of a difference over here. So it's not quite 100% straight. And if we just uh, bring it down a bit more, looks relatively straight here and not so straight here as well. So we're going to have to keep that in mind when we're actually slicing up this blueprint for the model itself. As we can see the sides over here are straight as well, so why don't we get started with the front and the back views first. What we're going to do is we're going to crop them and I'm pressing control plus to zoom in on the keyboard. We're going to crop them so that we can split them up. I'm going to stop talking as I do this. Okay, so now that we've taken a closer look, we can see that it's slightly um, slightly crooked, which is not a big deal in this case, because our modeling method will only use the first half of, uh, of the blueprint. So let's just crop that, and then hit Control-Shift-S to save it. Here's my directory structure. I have the blueprints, OBJs, which I'll explain later the references for all the reference material that I've collected, and the renders for whenever you want to render a shot. So we'll call this one front.bmp and make it a bitmap. So save that. Default options are fine. Hit Control alt z to go back one step. And let's crop the rear view as well. So you want to make it as closely cropped as possible because we don't need that excess white space and it also helps when we're setting up the blueprint box because the box will then be the exact same dimensions of the vehicle and that will help us when we're uh, when we're actually modeling without fussing too much about the different sizes alright so we've got the front and the back now we're gonna take care of this major uh, angle over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold the eyedropper tool until the ruler pops out and then from the base of the tire, we're going to draw a line to the base of the edge of the nose tire. You can click on image, rotate canvas, arbitrary, and that's the angle from one point to the other point. So just click OK. It'll rotate it for you. And now it should be properly angled or positioned or whatever you want to call it. So let's take a look here. All right, so we've got that end. We've got the top, it's, it's good enough. Maybe if we go down one more pixel, let's get the front. And if we take a look over here, it's perfect. And let's go to the other end, excellent. So we crop, hit Control Zero for the maximum zoom, and then Control Shift Z and save it as side.bmp. All right, hopefully this setting will have worked for this as well. Let's just bring this down real quick to check looks pretty straight. It's good enough for our purposes, so let's crop this as well. Control zero, control plus to zoom in. Let's get the side. There's a little bit sticking out over here, which is also reflected in the side blueprints, or sorry, the front and the rear blueprint. So it's important to get that as well when you're doing the top, otherwise your blueprints are going to be slightly off. And we've got the back. Let's just make sure that these two hooks or whatever they are also reflected back here. And they're not. So what we're going to do 
is we are also not going to reflect them here. Why? Because then it would throw off the blueprint. So let's just uh, quickly see if these line up. Yeah, so this blueprint isn't necessarily the greatest. So what we'll do is we'll crop it anyway. Control Shift S, name at the top. Great. So now that's all saved up, let's take a look at our blueprints. Alright, so if we take a look at the dimensions here, it's 919 by 350, and this is also 919, so that works out very well. Alright, so hit controls, Control Alt Z again, and one more time just to bring it back to its original format so that you don't have to worry about it. And we are done in Photoshop. I will see you guys in 3D Studio Max in just a minute.